All right. Welcome to another episode of Happy High Heels Happy Hour. How are you, Ingrid? I am great. How are you? I am great. I'm excited about today's tech conversations. But before we bring our fabulous guest on today, let's check in. What was uh, great about this week and maybe not as great? A great is a little understatement. Um, I had a root canal. Oh, that's fun. That's and fun. I did a poll on Facebook to see what was worse, a root canal, a toothache, or uh-huh. giving birth. And uh-huh. I think I would rather give birth. Okay. Than... Yeah, that's always that's just a fun <laughs> end to that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that was my not so great. I'm actually going for the second part of it. And uh, my life hack is a lot of people always ask. You know, they always look for, uh, they always want lipstick that stay on. Mm-hmm. However, when they stay on, they're usually really drying. So a quick trick mm-hmm. or a trick to, to leave it on or make it last longer is lip liner. Instead of just lining your lip on the outside, line the whole entire lip, color it in, and it makes your lipstick last longer. I can uh, testify to that. Yes. True. So True, true. It works great. So... That is me. How about you? Okay. What was great about this? So renovations of the house almost done, which is, I think, great this week. And it looks so uh, good. Thank you. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> almost, it's like 99%. Um, uh, not so great. Uh, I've been sleeping really badly. That's, I hate that. So I'm trying to figure out how to work on that. So yeah, sleep deprivation. I think we might need an episode on being an entrepreneur <laughs> with sleep deprivation because that's not good. No. Uh, my life hack. So I was just talking to a group, um, did a talk about why style matters. And I brought it up again. And it's so fun. I can't believe people still don't know about this tool called the fabric shaver. I mean, it's just, yes, because the style club we talk about, (laughs) but the fabric shaver, for those of you that still don't have this magical tool, it's something that takes off all the little um, knots and pilling on your fabric, interior and clothes. And it's just life-changing because you have something go from uh, looking worn and mm-hmm. old to looking fresh and new. And it's about a $15 investment that everyone should have in their style toolkit. I'll probably, we'll probably look something. We'll in find the, one. Yes. <laughs> I know that Amazon has plenty. All right. So today we're going to talk about something that some people hate and some people love. And I don't know. I might be somewhere in the middle. I think it, it is a love-hate yes, relationship. Yes, Depending so, on the day. Yes. <laughs> uh, when it works, it's great. When it doesn't, it's, it's terrible. But it's the subject of tech. And as entrepreneurs, we sure do need it. Mm-hmm. So what do you... I, I see you as pretty tech-savvy, Ingrid. I think you're, you're pretty... Aren't you? Don't you see yourself as pretty tech-savvy? I think so. <laughs> However, for me, I, I I like fun, so I'm super. I like to do things that are eye catching. Oh, like the because you're really good at the reels and the TikToks. And the, yes, okay. like the music. I usually put a music or a song that mm. goes with what I'm trying to to say. Uh-huh. However, a lot of people usually have the volume off. Yeah, when they look at videos or when mm-hmm. they scroll. So I'm. Attempting to get better of at captions, okay, and figuring out when to post. That's very specific tech, right there. Yes. So <laughs> <laughs> she likes the fluffy tech. Well, I want to know, you know, <laughs> when is it is a good time to post? I think that's that's yeah. crucial. Well, that well, te- I think t- there's so much with tech, though. I mean, just thinking of we had a hurricane. Oh, we forgot to mention the hurricane. It was mm-hmm. good and bad this week too. Because uh, it didn't it's hit good. that it didn't bad. Hit. We've but been lucky. when Wi-Fi is down, it's like, what in the world do we do? Yeah. yeah. We can't get, we so can't get through. for today's episode, we have invited one of my um, close friends and um, a tech guru, um, 
tech solution guru, Abby Ritchie, and she works with business leader and all of her solutions are inexpensive and result focused, which I love. So Abby, welcome yes. to the show. Thank you. Thank you, gals. Thank you for having me on. I'm thrilled to be here today. And just in listening to you talk about your technology, you know, I think as a small business owner or an entrepreneur, it's really hard to stay on top of the ever-changing tech, right? Mm -hmm. It's just, it's a part of our lives, whether we like it or not, it's here yeah. to stay. And I can tell you that the technology keeps changing. So you might just <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, oh, man. Yeah, it's like the wind. <laughs> keep growing, right? And then their needs keep changing. So, you know, when it comes to technology, if I said only one thing to you today, I would say this, get to know this really well. Phone, and what I'm yeah. pointing at is your phone, because your phone is like the gateway to all of these other necessary platforms. And yeah. And as an entrepreneur, as a mompreneur, like I find myself on the go so frequently that I have to do things from my phone. Like I just can't get to my computer to post this or send an invoice out or something like that. So the more that I can get really good at using this piece of technology, the phone, like the easier everything else gets. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah. I don't think I know all that it can do yet. <laughs> I don't think I've ever posted on my computer. I use my phone for everything. Oh, you do? Yeah. Uh, me, too. Uh, me too. I'm kind of 50-50 there. I don't use a tablet anymore. That I saw was a waste because I just buy the biggest phone. <laughs> that, that <laughs> there you go. That. There so, you Abby, go. Why don't, what, tell us a little bit more about you. How did you end up doing what you do? That's a great question. So I, I want to let you know that I am a third generation entrepreneur on both sides. Mm -hmm. So uh, what that means is that I'm hardwired to figure things out. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I had a, a tech education company early in my career. I absolutely loved it. I found myself uh, years into that, um, the company folded, unfortunately, and it was time for me to look for something new. And what I started doing was just serving. I'll be totally frank with you. None of my resumes were landing anywhere at all. Mm -hmm. And so I found myself just thinking, to myself, like, what am I going to do? I always thought I'd be doing this other thing. And now what am I doing? And I had gotten hired at two places and then quickly got laid off and I was devastated about that. And I was talked to my dad about it. And he said, you know, Abby, there's a golden pony under all this poop. I was like, <laughs> what? Don't you just hate it when dad say things like that and they that. don't make any sense to you? But he was like, I think in a couple months, you're going to be thanking those companies for letting you go because you're going to find something even greater, even better, where you could use your skills and your talents and help more people. And so what I started doing at that time was just helping my in-laws who were downsizing with their technology and their computers and their cable. And then they had asked me to help their neighbor. And then I started finding myself mm -hmm. day after day in a position where I was helping older adults with their technology. So I start looking into this and seeing if this is something that I want to do. And because I live in Phoenix, Arizona, I called some of the some of the resort retirement communities here and offered a free workshop, which I had not taught <laughs> or even written. I just offered it to see if there was a market for it. Love that. That's what we do, right? <laughs> we just throw stuff at the wall and see what yeah. sticks. And actually, by the end of the day, I had five bookings. So it was just oh. phenomenal. There was such a need for tech skills in workshops. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, in communities. And I started helping these older adults and sometimes helping their children who are business executives with their technology. And what I find as an entrepreneur is that I figured out a way to use tech that's easy uh, to keep it simple. I don't get complicated. And in a way that's also economical, especially for a business owner. Mm, yeah. 
I love, and I love that about all your tips and your videos that it's all, it's super hands-on and easy. Cause I will say my, I get frustrated, like nothing with tech. It's just, you just you wanna, so? yes, I just go, <laughs> and I know my mom, I wish my mom lived in the U S and I wish her English might've been a little bit better. Cause she, I would have sent her your way a long time ago, <laughs> but I think for me too. I mean, it's just, it's another thing you got to learn. It's another thing you mm -hmm. got to stay on top of, but I love that you make it so simple, easy. It's like foolproof, which I love. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. You know, I, I know as entrepreneurs, we all have our zone of genius, right? Yep. Yep. And the more you can spend in that zone and the less you can spend in the nitty gritty of your business, yeah. Like usually that's better because it fuels you and it keeps you focused and it keeps you being um, energized and passionate day after day after day. Yeah, I, I will. I'm going to say, too, just as a little back background, mm -hmm. uh, Abby and I met through a mastermind group and mm -hmm. we have been each other's accountability partner. Um ever is it a year and a half now a it year is. and a half yeah. mm -hmm. we've had a few weeks where we had to not talk but otherwise we've met either through zoom or on the phone if that's what all we had and so i recommend to everyone to have an accountability partner like abby you can't get her because she's mine <laughs> uh, but it's really staying on top i love it mm -hmm. and i will also give a shout out you did something life-changing for me that you have a digital course is it mm -hmm. still up on uh, mm -hmm. regarding um passwords how to come up with foolproof passwords that no one can crack and that you will not forget <laughs> so we will link to that uh, digital course because i took it and it was just i just want to it's we don't have time to go into detail on it here but once mm -hmm. you understand it it is so smart i love it Thank you. And Thank you. funny thing too, all three of us have TEDx talks. Oh yay! Yay! yay. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. 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 So, Abby, let's go into um, the tech issues that a lot of us uh, face. What do you see as kind of the biggest mistakes we do, entrepreneurs or moms or whatever? Uh, what are the biggest mistakes? Okay. The biggest mistake is thinking you could do it all on your own. Oh, that's a good one. As a mom, as an entrepreneur, you know, it takes a village, right? Yes. And there will be times where you're going to have to say, okay, I need help. And this is actually going to be one of the best movements that you can make because there are going to be certain things that you really, it's really better for someone else to do so that you could get back to doing your own thing. Now, I know, and you know that we're so very, very capable. If we just put our mind to it, we'll figure it out. And if you're like that, I say, great, but give yourself a time budget. Say to yourself, I'm going to power up my mind and figure this thing out whether it's something you're doing, you know, troubleshooting on your computer, or it has to do with design and graphics, whatever the case is, I'm going to give myself a half hour of totally focused time. I'm going to work on this, after which I'm going to have to tap into some other resources. So I really want to encourage you to, to try it by all means, after which let someone else do it for you. Yeah, that's... <laughs> save a lot of gray hairs yeah that way yeah that's um that's that's a good one so you know one thing that i recommend you do and on honestly i had to do this myself not too long ago because i come up with some odd tech issues that seriously i can't figure them out and i don't really want to <laughs> so, um, but what i decided i would do is i would um look into fiverr mm -hmm. look into upwork and contract someone in advance to help me deal with these little nitty gritty issues that I cannot figure out. And so I think it's wise to do this proactively as opposed to reactively is to get your people in place for you. So um, 
get your tech person in place for you. And a lot of times that means I have to access someone on my own staff to help me figure out whatever the issue is, but I want to get them lined up and already familiar with my system and what I need help with in advance. Yeah. So how would you recommend someone go about so Fiverr and Upwork are, for those of you that are not familiar, uh, sites where you can hire specialists um, mm -hmm. for a pretty decent um, or pretty economical. Mm -hmm. I've, I've used Fiverr once, uh, but how do you go about, how would you go about doing that so that, you know, they know your business or uh, you don't want to have someone on staff? No, you don't. And this is this uh, what I always do, whether it's a staff person or someone who's helping me with graphics or tech is I start small. That's mm -hmm. what I do. I just yeah. start small because I'll say, here's a, you know, a small, a small email issue that I can't figure out. Can you help me with this? And then I can see how they help me. Is it immediately helpful? Is there a communication struggle? Mm -hmm. And I just start small. I don't put the whole bucket in their in their lap at first. Mm -hmm. I start small. Even with my virtual assistant, I started with two to four hours a week. That's all I could do, right? Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. was a couple of years ago. And I just said, I'm going to start small. I'm going to make sure we communicate, she can understand what I'm working on. And then gradually, I will continue to build on those hours. And that's exactly mm -hmm. what we've done. And that's exactly how whenever I need to bring on another person, I just start small. Yeah, that's great. That's, that's so true. And it's, it's because you're not committing to too much and you're not committing to someone's full time, you know, right. paycheck. Mm -hmm. uh, you're just, um, trying it out. So it's almost like a test employment for just a little bit of time. Probation. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right. Right. So I do recommend you start small. If you go on Fiverr, you can type in whatever issue need you have. I've hired people to help me create videos before and uh, help me with my email signature line. And, you know, so oh. I'll just do a small job and build from there. Okay. That's a good idea. Yeah. Because I want to change my email signature, but I'm like, ah, I don't have time. That's a good one. That's what I need to do. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I would be happy to refer you to the person who's helped okay. me twice. Hey. Okay. Hey. Yeah. We'll so get, get on those, that. Get those people in place. And, you know, the other thing that I recommend to is you probably are using Canva to help you create mm -hmm. these, um, the, these beautiful graphics and post them. But do you know that you can use Canva as a content planner. There is a built-in content yeah. planner in there. Yeah. And I know for a lot of people, just getting behind their social media consistently is a huge challenge. People love it and they hate it, but they mostly hate it. But you know, with social media, it's free, right? Yeah. And so as a small business owner, the more you can use it as a marketing platform, mm -hmm. the better off you're going to be. So Partially, it's about scheduling your content mm -hmm. and that you're able to do within Canva with a pro account. That's true. Yes. And I have one of those. I do. I was better at planning it in Canva or, or posting it from Canva because it's easy to go from mm -hmm. um, size, different sizes for different platforms mm -hmm. or different social media platforms. And I slacked off a little last couple of weeks, but yeah, that's so true. So the social media planner is the content planner is not available for, on the free version. Do you know no, that? No, that's okay. Right. But the pro is not. If you use Canva a lot, uh, which I do, I use it daily. And um, the pro is really it's a it's, it's a good upgrade. You you get yeah. a lot more. I'm doing websites. Our website, this podcast website, was built in Canva. Um, you do it, it's definitely worth it if you use Canva a lot. I have a screen image here. I can share it with you if you want me to. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let me, let me do that. And just show you that here is this. Uh, okay. There you go. Oh, no. There we go. There you go. There you go. Okay. So I couldn't, let me see, make this full screen for you so that you can see that. I have, uh, do you still see that? Yep. 
Yeah. Okay. So you can see that I've just plugged things in for Facebook in for LinkedIn and for Instagram. And I plotted those out throughout the month. Mm, yeah, that's great. And this just frees me up to be able to post more organically when I want to, but know that my content is being posted regularly because that is something you really have to do with social media in order to um, keep your content and your your presence in the algorithm. Yeah. No, that's that's yeah. such a good that's such a good tip because consistency is key with mm -hmm. um, social media. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah there we Absolutely. go. So yeah. Abby, is that what you do? So you set up the, the content for your client or are you someone that just advises your client, hey, this is what you should do? Yeah, so I could do it both ways. This is what I do personally. Actually, I have my virtual assistant set it up that way. And uh, we have we have our dates themed. So uh, Monday is always a marketing theme. Tuesday is a tech tip, for instance. And so I've helped other people, other clients set up their themes the same way in the content planner in Canva. And I think it just really takes the pressure off of you so that you can create organic content. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get it automized. Get it automized. Yeah. On an automation is, is freeing up time. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Any other tech tips you have for anyone who's challenged? Yes, I do. Well, for, for the business owner, you absolutely need to have some accounting software in place right? In order to mm -hmm. invoice people, yes. to keep track of what's coming and going. I'll be totally honest with you. The first two years of my business, I didn't have that. I was just like, let's just see how this goes. <laughs> and so, um, and, and so it took me two years to just to really get serious about using accounting software. So you want to use something that's going to be easy for you to use, something that's going to be cloud-based so that you can do it from anywhere. You don't have to be at home. Something where you can have the money being automatically deposited to your account and tracking that all online. So there's one system I really like. I've been using it consistently. It's called Wave. It's Wave Apps. And I've just found it to be easy. Everything for me has to be easy. If it's not easy, I can't cope with it. <laughs> so, yeah. And then additionally, I want to say that using a calendar app has been huge for me. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't mind scheduling appointments, but once it goes back and forth, back and forth, I'm like, that's it. I, I, can't, mm -hmm. I can't do that anymore. Then it becomes an outer limits annoyance to me. So a lot of times I just say, here's my Calendly link. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and schedule a time. But here's something I want you to keep in mind. It's not just go ahead and schedule a time. I've determined when I will take these meetings because I know that first thing in the morning, I have a ton of energy and I want to get all of like my hard work done in the morning. That means not a meeting. <laughs> not a yeah. meeting, right? So yeah. I want to save these. I have a lot of discovery calls and people who want to talk to me about being on my show or talk to me about technology or something like that. I want to save that for the afternoon when like I have um, gotten some of these other higher priority projects done. So yeah. I'm very, I'm very intentional about the time that I have meetings and I've plugged those into my calendar app and I'm using Calendly in order to do that. Mm. That's uh, both of those. I use a calendar app too. I used to use Calendly, but now it's included in my CRM. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just one of the, the uh, functions there. It really, because there's nothing more annoying than going back and forth, back and forth, trying to find, I mean, that's just so time consuming, trying yeah. to find a, a time that works. So yes, that really is super freeing. Ingrid, are you using a calendar? No, I'm okay. like, Ingrid oh my needs, gosh, oh my God, there's, been... <laughs> there's a big to-do list here, okay? Yeah. And for accounting software, I totally could not agree with you more. I thought I could just, oh, I'll keep a record. It will be fine. Uh, but it's so important. And and also, it's you can't really track where you're at. If yeah. And you know what? A tracked number grows. Mm -hmm. So... It's really hard to track if there's no system in place. I mm -hmm. use uh, QuickBooks. 
Mm -hmm. That has worked for me. Uh, I also actually do my um, credit card processing through QuickBooks. I used to have a separate company for that, but it was just so much easier when it all worked hand in hand and all the money, it was just automatic. So I, yes, that's a must. Yeah. Um, there are plenty of them. I've never seen the wave. I've got to have to look at that one. Um, no, if, if what you're using works for you, yeah. Yeah. that's there's that keep it right. No, I agree. It's I, when it's not working yeah. for you that it's time to change it. So or I don't. Or, or you don't have one, or, or you need one, <laughs> or if you need one, that's right. That's right. So yeah. so good. Uh, so I'm going to teach you one more, and then Ooh, yeah. I want you to pose a query to me. Okay, mm -hmm. I want to hear how I can. I want to help you on the spot today, but mm -hmm. I want to tell you one another thing that I do is I am constantly learning uh, because I think, you know, as a business owner, like we can get very insulated in our own brains, right? In our own minds, what needs to go on. But whenever I'm in the car, I will tell you, I am listening to an audio book. Mm -hmm. I take that time, which seems like as a mom, like I'm driving around all the time. Um, but I take that time and I use an app. It's called Libby, the library app. I don't know if you've heard of it before, but no. it's through, yeah. through your through your public library. Mm -hmm. And I just, you know, find books and they're all like self-improvement, business books, whatever, um, you know, mindset books. And every single time I drop someone off, on goes Libby, the app, and I'm driving and I'm learning every single day. And this is a way for me to continue to be excellent because I'm opening up my mind and I'm learning new things and I'm just taking the time in my day, which could be totally lost and boring. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm maximizing that time. Yep. I couldn't, I listen to so much in the car. It's definitely, mm -hmm. and the kids now they're so old. They, they just put in their own earphones. They don't want to talk to me anyway. So <laughs> I just, and, and I also listen when I run. Mm -hmm. So It mm -hmm. used to be where I could only run to music because I needed the tempo. And then I think it was during the pandemic. I just shifted to listening to podcasts or books. Yeah. And it really, I mean, the miles, you kind of forget where you're at. You just, oh, I've already ran. I'm done. And it's, uh, I totally couldn't agree, but I've never heard of Libby, the library app. I just, I go on audible and pay for mine. So yeah, and I think this, okay. I mean, they have a little bit more range in audible, but this, okay. they have a lot. Well, of, that's very yeah. interesting. The kids have yep. that one. Definitely. Go. Okay. So oh, you have that. I one. have that. I have one. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Well, I would love to help you right now. Okay, and, great. Be careful um, what you wish for. Oh, I know, I know. Well, I'm a, I am feel okay about it. I, I have a, a workshop I run once a month for the whole week. It's called Tech Cafe Ask Away. And so I feel confident that I can help you with your need. Okay. So in, in any specific i think ingrid needs to uh this is for you ingrid oh, i'll go first because yeah i'm at the edge of my seat okay i have to ask one question uh -huh. so i'm a mom uh i'm a veteran so i i do a lot of volunteer uh volunteering for ptsd especially ptsd groups mental health uh i'm an esthetician and i i'm a sales director in mary Kay. so i find it sometimes very challenging. I want to make sure people know I do all of this. However, two of those are going to bring me income. Mm -hmm. But I kind of want to tie in everything because I want people to know I'm just, I'm not just, you know, a mom. I kind mm -hmm. of, I want to have that red thread that we talk about in, mm -hmm. in, um, in, the, in fashion or the household kind of go through my social media. So it ties in together. However, I don't think I have been doing that. I mean, there's posts that I do that people know, okay, this is what I do, but maybe some clarity, or maybe there is no way to do that. And I just need to just focus on one or two. <laughs> well, uh, I think that's a, that's a, a fair challenge that a lot of us deal with, even though, you know, I may have a two, two, 
two or three different roles I'm playing, I still need to be a human, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, one thing that I do, and I'm just going to share my screen with you because it might make it easier for you. And I do this so that I'm a little more... Um, uh, yeah. Okay, good. You can see this. I'm going to make it. Oh, yeah. That's what you touched on that earlier, okay. the theme days. Yes. Yeah. I like to theme my days. And the reason I do this is because I, I don't have to stick with it, Ingrid, but at least if I'm thinking, okay, today is Monday, what am I going to focus on? And at least you know that the following week, you're going to touch back to that so that okay. Okay. you're staying on focus. So theme out your, your, you know, your roles, maybe on Monday, it's Mary Kay, right? Mm -hmm. And Tuesday, it's, it's veterans. And, um, you know, you, you theme okay. it out. Because yep. you may not be able to tie it all together all the time. But at least here, you're going to circle back to some things regularly. And that means that people are going to be seeing you regularly showing up in these different roles. Okay. I like that's that. That's a great that's, idea. That's a good, yeah. Yes. I'm like, oh, I can do that. So just every Monday would be the same thing just mm -hmm. once a week. Well, same theme. Yeah. Same theme. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The yeah. Same theme. Mm -hmm. It's uh, skin Wednesday or whatever, skin okay. Saturday. Okay. I yeah. can do that. And it makes sense because I, I find myself kind of sometimes just wanting to post something so people can identify to what I do and it's and, and I think a lot of entrepreneurs we are kind of multipreneurs mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's can be hard to tie it all in so that's a great that's a great idea on how like to do that. it uh, so can I ask a question too? Uh -oh. mm -hmm. uh, well, <laughs> because I loved how you helped me with passwords is there something else? security wise that you mm. think we should be doing with our either devices or protect ourselves somehow that um i'm not maybe not doing okay great question so first and foremost you should be using a different password for every account that you have yeah. you know Ooh. research shows us that we are typically reusing the same password across three accounts okay so and, and so if you're using that same password um, on one account that gets hacked into, then that opens you up for a security breach on the, all of those other accounts. Mm -hmm. So you really want to have one password for each account. And then come up with a method in which you can organize and track your passwords. Now you might be doing these using an Apple keychain, or you might be doing it using Google Chrome security one way or another stick with one okay because if the, you're using two those two will often fight against each other and then it, one is not going to be stronger they're just going to compete with each other you're not going to have a strong approach mm -hmm. and uh, one thing i i always say to people is keep your devices updated it might be the easiest thing you could possibly do is to run the software update even if you're like oh, i don't like i'm not gonna I don't care about the new memojis or you know yeah. the new this or that but within every update there are security patches and you want those and i'll just tell you so often when i'm helping people i'm like um you don't see that that one badge in your settings, okay. you know, like, oh, no, no, it's just, you know, the Apple Pay, whatever. And I'm like, hey, just that little one thing, whenever I see that as a tech support specialist, I think check engine light. And you mm -hmm. know, and I know that if a light went on, on in your car and your dash, yes. you know that you could probably get around, get by a couple days, right? Yeah. And I don't want to get stuck on the side of the road with my kids ever, right? Mm -hmm. So I... I investigate, I have it looked at, I have it removed. Same thing with the software updates. Like, yeah, you can ignore it, but eventually what's gonna happen is there are gonna be breakdowns and things are gonna become dysfunctional and the way that you rely on your device will stop eventually. Mm. There, That's so good. Something else I, I learned from your course, the password course too, that I just thought was so brilliant to keep, a, a physical book with your passwords, 
Because even if someone says, oh, it's not safe, who is going to break into my house and what they're going to look for is my password book? No, there'll be other things they'll steal. <laughs> and yeah, I just absolutely. have it somewhere where I know it's at. But to have yeah. it physically written down. Okay, we have one that, that looks like this. It says, I love tacos. And um, they come with multiple different covers. My son just liked this one. But the thing I really like about it is that it's so big, you're not going to lose it, right? It's not going to like get lost behind your desk or in a stack of files. It's an eight and a half by 11. It's available on Amazon. I can give you a link. And it's alphabetized. And what a lot of people do is they just use like a pad of paper and and then it doesn't stay organized. But within your family, you may need something like this that everyone can reference when they need the Netflix password. Right? You know what? That's the next step. I have one for me. I'm going to get the I Love Tacos one for the family. And we do love yes. tacos. So. Yes. Yeah. That yeah. is brilliant. Yeah. Okay. So I need to take the Yes. Do you need course. that password course too, Ingrid? There's a big to-do list here. I have the same password because <laughs> it's, I don't forget. And I still forget sometimes. Well, that was really good. I yeah. love all the hands-on um, things. I did most of the things on the checklist I'm doing already. But uh, oh, well, it can always be done a little better, right? No, no. Ingrid? It was, it was <laughs> no, I mean, no, but I, I am someone that usually is, I'll do it on my own. You know, yeah. I, I, yeah. If, if it's going to be done, I'll just do it myself. But then when I'm halfway through, I'm like, why am I doing this myself? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank well, you. Thank, thank you, Abby. Always so. And I, of course, if I'm stuck, I call Abby. That's what <laughs> I do. <laughs> but of course, not everyone can do that. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. And please tell everyone, we will link to the course and, and your TED Talk and the things we yeah. We talked about today, but can you tell everyone how they can find you, follow you, reach you? Yes. Yeah, so probably the best way is for my website, abbyritchie.com, A-B-B-I-E-R-I-C-H-I-E.com. But I'm also on your various social media platforms and you can find me there with my first and last name, Abby Ritchie. Right. Well, thank you it. so much. And remember, yes, we don't have to do it on our own. And nope. if it's not easy then or fun, we're not going to do it. So don't keep complicating things. Right. We're going to take it. it. So. All right. Thank you so much, Abby, for your time. And I will talk to you later this week. Yes. Talk to you later this week. Bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Thank you. Um, hold on. No, did she disappear? Okay. So should we just do a, okay, we can just do a, well, that was great. That was wonderful. We can cut out. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to say it again. That was great, right? That was awesome. Because I think <laughs> even the the talk of, oh, it's going to be a tech, then you think, oh my God, it's going to be, so, I'm not going to understand half of it. But it's really, we got to simplify things. And the things we don't understand, let someone who understands it do it. And the fact that some of the stuff is you can program it, you can schedule it. Yeah. Um, the calendar is great. I'm actually yeah. going to look into it because sometimes yeah. you have an appointment and I go back and forth. Yeah. You know, rescheduled, uh, hurricane, mm -hmm. weather, yeah. appointments. So that's definitely, yeah. I have my to do list is pretty, uh, has like eight yeah. to do. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so See? it was wonderful having her. She's, yeah. She's great. All right, Ingrid. Um, it was a pleasure, as always, always. hanging out with you. And uh, please don't forget to go to our Facebook group and our website for more info. And as always, we have a giveaway for our favorite things. Ooh, I wonder what Anyone who week. signs up for our uh, newsletter yes. so you don't miss an episode coming up. And the newsletters will have more information on our guests and all the links as well. All right. Until All right. next time. Until next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.